And there we go. Welcome to the third episode of our pirate campaign, which I think at some point we're going to have to come up with a name for. I've just been calling it Pirates of Hot. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> so, last... Boom, boom, baby. <laughs> <laughs> last we saw you all, you were fighting a whole bunch of slavers to a standstill and taking a couple of them captive yourself and then fleeing the city aboard the Argonaut. Uh, you had a rather large fight in which some of you were incredibly epic, and some of your assistants, cough, mm. Flaley McFlaley, <laughs> was not so epic. That all said and done, you managed to escape with your lives, and you're aboard ship. You had a moment where you, at least one of you saw a rather, rather guilty and suspicious dwarf and followed him downstairs. Um, Edric got a tour of his favourite room of the ship. He's probably going to be spending the most of his time there. And he also Ooh. saw Lady Alara Dupont. You know which room it is. It's got the most gunpowder in it. <laughs> 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 I just saw the comment, your mascot. We shall see. Um, all said and done, you've effectively been given time to get used to being on board and also rest since you were doing all the fighting while everyone else was doing all the hauling ass. Um, and you've found some space on this cramped ship filled with civilians and a couple of soldiers here and there. Um, to rest up after an exhausting day. With that, and with the following sunrise, you will be roused by the crew and called up on deck. So... Bajiri is going to uh, be up there, awake, ready. He's going to be like 10-15 minutes early. Just, he's he's raring to go. He's like, fuck yes, I'm on a ship. Mm -hmm. Fuck yes, that's... Yep. <laughs> sorry, I just read your comment. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I may have misheard or misinterpreted something. <laughs> But whatever Did floats your boat. <laughs> uh, nautical pun there. <laughs> Especially on an airship. <laughs> I mean, as, as some of you may have been aroused by the crew, <laughs> it wasn't mug. To, to, to be fair, if Edric was aroused by anything, it was probably the memory of those guns. <laughs> <laughs> God. We're all uh, bad, bad people. <laughs> where, where, where did we sleep? Sorry, were we all in the same place or did people kind of scatter around? I would say you'd be wherever you could have found space, but you could probably have found it fairly close to each other. Um, the jury pr would have preferred, like, probably as high as possible. <laughs> Good weed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, like probably he'd want to stay in like the crow's nest uh, or something. Oh yes, hammocks. We need hammocks. <laughs> ah. I'd say the crew. I'd say the crew would have probably made more um, hammocks, like out of um, spare sheeting and stuff like that, because the ship is so crowded. Um, just trying to have people sleeping on floor space would not have been effective. You know that as Mericia was going to bed, she'd be like, gosh, hammocks. I've always wanted to try one of these. They're lovely, aren't they? Guys, have you seen this hammock? Wow. <laughs> Just based on that, can you roll the decks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay, okay. Right, I'm going to have to get back into rolling. So I've rolled a two and a three on my same dice, and I've rolled a three on my not same dice. 
<laughs> Add your dex. Uh, and my dex is a one. Does so, she get stunned? Seven, eight, nine. Um, while you're doing all that and you go to jump into it, you <laughs> flip clean out the other side and land <laughs> flat on your backside. <laughs> Well done. <laughs> I mean, a very familiar <laughs> elf is walking past at the time and face palms and continues walking. <laughs> Can I give her a hand to help her up? Uh, she will gladly take your hand. Gosh, I don't, don't think I've got the hang of this just yet. Could you hold it still for me by any chance? Of course. I'll like hold it open so that she can easily sit in it. We'll climb in and immediately fall asleep. Do, do you want me to tie it up so that you don't fall out in the night? Um, the, sure, is that the thing that's done? I don't know. I'm going to like burst out laughing and then say, well, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, good <Gertrude. laughs> <laughs> Precisely like that. Like, when she was on the floor, she was like, gosh. Floorboards are rather lovely, aren't they? It's such lovely wood. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Mug basically sleeps anywhere. Uh, he, he would just basically just get down on the floor in the middle of a room or whatever. Just sleep. Yeah. So some of you <laughs> would have been it. below decks. Um, some of you may have found room up on the uh, deck itself. Um, there's a large balloon above the ship. Uh, but there is netting that allows crew that are a little bit more agile to climb up onto the balloon and then crow's nest at the very top, in which I'm pretty certain a certain monkey man might be sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> I think Taryn would have just found like a kind of, like a, just a corner to just kind of edge into and just kind of sat cradling himself <laughs> as he fell asleep and like kind of tucked in a ball almost. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, Mirathea, like, didn't see a lot of the battle. She was on the ship, like, her blouse, so... I feel like she needs to catch up with you guys. <laughs> Cheers. So, as you get woken up by some of the crew moving through the ship and waking up all the new hands, uh, they tell you that the captain's called for all the uh, new hires to be up on deck. And then they've busied themselves by going about their regular morning tasks. Oh, oh. she will make her way what? upstairs, greeting everybody very enthusiastically. As she... <laughs> M Mug will ask, what's a deck? <laughs> <laughs> the sailor that grabs and wakes up Mug sort of gives you the strangest of looks and then points at the floorboards above your head that make up the deck and go up there. <laughs> it's the ceiling. It's inside the ceiling. <laughs> the sailor just sort of groans and goes, I knew the captain was desperate, but for all that is holy. <laughs> if you go up the way you came, You'll find the captain and everyone gathering up there. Now, oh, upstairs! Yes, upstairs. <laughs> and he wanders off swearing. <laughs> <laughs> People will love him. <laughs> I think Taryn will just kind of nod and kind of scurry upstairs and just stand kind of awkwardly waiting for people to be told what to do. Yeah. You see a couple of other people that you don't recognise who must be new hires um, gathering up there with you. And the soldier that wasn't the one that you shamed, as well as Flaley McFlaley are also now standing up there, seeming to have... Well, it looks like they may have volunteered to help with the tasks of looking after the ship while you're on your way to Mali. Uh, you also see up at the helm 
the elf who has face palmed every time he's seen Mercia, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and the gunnery chief Charkin, who fought alongside you all at the wall. I'll give him a little wave and then like turn to the captain. He's smoking a pipe and he's just sort of looking out over the lot of you and he sees the wave and he just sort of raises his pipe in a half salute back. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look like he's fully awake yet. Ah, he needs more ill then. <laughs> Uh, after a bit, when you have assembled and been waiting for a couple of minutes, you see the captain step up out of what must be his caverns, uh, and with him is the lady who Edric saved from the last oh, episode. <laughs> and they talk for a bit before she walks away past a lot of you and down below ships. The captain. I'm, I'm going to turn away as she walks past. She doesn't really glance too much in your direction. Good. The captain, however, walks up to where the others are standing and steps in front of the helm to address you, his new, new crew. Um... He looks at each of you and he seems to like take special note of those of you that had actually fought to um, delay the attackers and stops to think for a bit and goes, normally you would have all been trained and vetted well before we got out anywhere near open sea here. Oh, I, I've been trained before. Twice. <laughs> he grins. Well, we saw that. Those of you that fought, we owe you our thanks. You definitely made sure that we had plenty of time to get everyone aboard and get the hell out of Dodge. For those of you who don't know my name... The name is Captain Patrick Fulton, and welcome to my ship, the Argonaut. You've all signed on as crew. To my left, and he gestures towards the dwarf. This is Gunnery Chief Tarkin. He's in charge of pretty much anything that explodes on this ship. The cannons, the rifles, and on top of that, the engine. On the other hand, and he gestures towards the elf who's been face palming pretty much non stop <laughs> until now, but seems to have straightened up and is looking a little bit more leader like. This is our chief medical officer, Neros Tallfeather. And if anything happens to you on board, if you uh, get injured during fights with any potential pirates or slavers out there, or if you just manage to stick your hand where you're not meant to, he's the one that's going to be patching you up. If you do anything too stupid too often, he'll do it the easy way and just throw you off the side of the ship. <laughs> but Sherry chuckles. <laughs> oh, I don't think I... The medical officer sort of looks at you a little bit and just shakes his head. <laughs> then the captain grins at you all and goes, and now it's about time we actually started making you wearing for your keep. There's a couple of tasks that are going to need round-the-clock attention while we're so overcrowded on this ship. There's some of the obvious ones because we're going to need to feed everyone and obviously we cannot feed everyone at the same time. This ship is not designed to have this many people on here. 
So I'm going to have a cooking crew going nonstop to make sure that we're all eating in shifts and taking downtime in shifts. Wait, do we have enough food? What was that? Yeah, you sounded a bit robot. Do we have enough food? The captain nods. Smart question there, but yes, we do have enough food. We, uh had enough supplies for a much longer ship than go, uh, trip than going to Mali. So we should make it there with plenty of supplies to go. We're not oh, exactly... you called me smart? I really like you. <laughs> <laughs> he raises his own eyebrow ever so slightly, but powers on. Um, on top of that, Certain jobs are going to need to be done. The gunnery crews are going to have to learn how to fire and use the weapons because I cannot guarantee that the friendly slavers from back at Freeport are going to just let us meander on our way out. I'd rather have wet this ship up and battle ready well and truly before we get halfway. On top of that, the engine needs to be constantly maintained and Gunnery Chief Tarkin will be making sure some of you are trained in doing that. On top of that, our uh, Chief Quartermaster stepped down in Freeport and I hope to the high heavens that he got out of there in one piece because we did not see him on the docks. That said, your new Quartermaster, and he gen gestures across at uh, Mericea. <laughs> She stands to attention like really, really proud. Is now in charge of maintaining all our supplies. <laughs> Every. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the last fecking potato. Oh, I love potatoes. <laughs> the medical officer face palms again. <laughs> Maricia is now behind 5-0 on like the stupid things to get her thrown off. Where is Mug currently? <laughs> the captain looks over the rest of you and says... There are far too many people on this ship, and tensions are obviously going to be high. I suggest you make the best of what is, frankly, an uncomfortable situation, and try to ensure that everyone else does the same. The last thing we re need right now is a fight breaking out on an overcrowded ship with slavers on our tail. That said, you're dismissed, and I'll hand you over to Gunnery Chief Tarkin. And with that, he nods his head at you and wanders off back down towards his cabin. The dwarf steps forward and puts his arms up onto the railing and takes a big puff of his pipe and blows out a smoke ring while watching you. And then grins. We saw some of your fight, and you did a blasted good job of it. Others were on the ship here, helping get a whole bunch of scared civilians on board. But I sincerely doubt, as the captain says, the slavers are going to let us just run to Mali without a chase. And we aren't going to get them on this ship, and we're not going to let them have it if they try. That said, weapons training. I'm going to... Ooh, 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 I can do that. He grins. That we know. Those of you that fought at the gate, you're in charge. You're the ones that are going to be training our new hands and seeing what they're made of. And then he ooh, points this at... going to be fun. <laughs> then he points, at... <laughs> he points at... He points at Edric. And goes, and you lad, I want you training with me and the cannon crews. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. 
with, with that, I'm gonna go like, okay, I'm, I, I, where, where, where do I report? Um, um, I mean, yeah, of course. <laughs> he just waves at the right hand side of the ship, and sort of looks through the crowd of people in front of him and starts selecting a couple and gesturing to the left or the right, splitting you up. Idrik, you wind up sort of waved off to the right. And alongside you, I just realized I'm missing one of my sheets. I need to open that. You know what, based on hilariousness, Bingo's getting sent over there with you. <laughs> and so is Whisper. On to the left-hand side of the ship, you wind up with Mericia, Vajiri, Taran, and Mug. Along with a very familiar face of who you've nominated as Flaley McFlaley. Flaley! <laughs> yeah! I wanted to um, train him. Flaley. Flaley. So what, who was Flaley? Because I obviously missed that when I listened back to you. He's the uh, the unwilling soldier who got shamed um, by oh. Mike into joining. He okay. missed every attack. Absolutely no. every single one. Except... He really and why he was trying to run away, because he's actually red. Yeah, he's also supposedly really young, from what I remember, but basically we've named him Flaley and McFlaley. No. He did, however, do one epic attack. Oh, yes. Yeah. But oh, yeah. that was yeah. the grand total of his combat. <laughs> no. Like, he, he did one thing very well and then like forgot how to do things in general. Blame the PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> what, from him being shamed into battle? <laughs> yeah, from being or surrounded by deeper. us. Yeah. It could have been PTSD from us. Being surrounded by us. Yeah, and we don't know his backstory. It could be very tragic, or he could be the main villain. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I suppose. Uh... Don't turn flaily on us. This, this is how you meet the main villain. Taking you notes. Think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think they are flaily, my flaily, but the truth is. <laughs> Actually, stabby muck stabby. <laughs> <laughs> the real last max stabby of max stabbies. <laughs> ah, you were pinning it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <coughs> so, as you find yourself separated up, um, the medical officer steps down to the side with Bajiri, Taran, and those that look like they're about to be taught close quarters fighting. Um, the other side of the ship finds themselves with Tarkin sort of splitting those up over two cannons on the side and signalling for one of the more experienced sailors to come over and you watch this sailor pull out a couple of um, flags from a looks like a pouch that he's got on the side of his hip and he just starts gesturing at one of the other ships. As he's doing that, Tarkin turns to Edric and Bingo and the rest and says, I want you to split over these two cannons, and we're going to teach you how to hit targets. Our friends over there, any gestures towards a smaller ship? Looks like they've got a bit of cargo they want to dump, and uh, early this morning, I convinced them to uh, find a more entertaining way to get rid of it. So you've got target practice. On the other side of the ship, the medical officer, Neros, has you all form an orderly line, and he walks up and down, sizing each of you up. If any enemy makes it aboard this ship, 
you can guarantee it is close quarters fighting of the worst kind. Especially since we have so many on this ship right now, there's not exactly a lot of space to move. I did see some of the fighting aboard from aboard the ship, and it seems at least some of you have talent. So, the, as the captain said, those of you that did fight at the gate, pick your sparring partners. I want you to teach them how to swing. The rest of you, he points at some uh, leather sacks and a large rolled up tarp. Your weapons and armor in there. Gear up. And don't get hurt. I don't want to patch you the hell up. He then steps off to his side to watch. Taryn's just going to go really quiet and like stock still and just kind of like sharply turn his head around looking and like just bit looking quite frankly terrified. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a doppelganger right now in McFlaley. Yeah, I thought I might. <laughs> <laughs> See, seeing them both, but Jerry's just just gonna like chuckle to himself and smile, and um, the, the, his rather diminutive st uh, figure is gonna just so, like step forward and just be like, "So, uh, who, who, who wants to?" <laughs> and he's, he's just gonna, like raise his hands, like gesturing to his companions uh, and uh, just offering them up to. <laughs> people as he just like pulls out his spear just like ready ready to ready to teach people <laughs> so yeah. what he's also gonna he's also gonna be keeping an eye on Taryn and McFlaley and just he wants to support them as well Aww, <laughs> <bless him>. <laughs> <laughs> he is a cute monkey man so the sailors that have gone and gathered up their gear it looks like there was a mixture of like Leather targes and cutlasses and axes, um, as well as some uh, light leather armor in the um, bags that they uh, tried on for size until they found something that fitted, at least loosely. And you've now got a rather motley looking band standing opposite you. Oh, yeah, there's a mug will take out more and bang it on the deck and say, yeah, whoever is ready, come and fight me and just get to a fighting stance, not even thinking about it. The motley band of sailors look at this dwarf in the, his rather large mole, look at the medical officer and look back. <laughs> and there is a mad rush to pair with anyone but. <laughs> <laughs> a... I'd, like to think... <laughs> I'd like to think that some people because they see just the height of Bajiri they're just like the monkey is not intimidating we'll go with the monkey <laughs> you do find that Taryn, McFlaley and Bajiri are the most popular that they try to rush to <laughs> funny that <laughs> Come, come on, are all of you that weak? None of you can ascend against me. Not, ha, have none of you got any pride? As a so, a mustachioed man of roughly middle age steps forward and goes, I'll have a go with you. Excellent. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side, Idrik, yes. you see the other ship has been a flurry of activity with the crew seemingly trying to prepare something, and then you watch a barrel with a very, very tiny balloon get thrown off the back of the ship with a rope attached. Until it's now being dragged behind. I guess I'm gonna like shoot at it with a cannon. 
as you <laughs> you've seen canon work before and you've you know black powder enough to get the gist of exactly how to load it you might not be 100% certain of the measures Tarkin eyes you up and goes I can see you're an eager lad so you and your canon crew will be the first ones to go good and he proceeds to explain to you in fine detail how to make sure not cannon doesn't explode. Uh-oh. After he gives you the basic safety rundown, he points at a crate sitting nearby and an open-topped barrel. In the barrel are small sacks. And he gestures with the hand that doesn't have the pipe in it. That's the gunpowder, lad. They're in sacks, as you can obviously tell, because they're basically set to the uh, right amount, so you don't even have to measure. Cut the sack, pour the charge, ram it in, put the wad. And then he points at the crate. I shouldn't have to tell you what that is. A very quick glance will indicate that it's a whole bunch of cannonballs. <laughs> Good. Okay, I'm, I'm going to like follow the instructions. So, like, yeah. cutting the sack, then ramming it in. Yeah, two of the crew that are with you are helping because they have to help pull the cannon back to give you access to the barrel. Good. Wait, in fact, I'm, I'm, I should probably be the one aiming the cannon. <laughs> so after a bit of practice the two crew managed to get the cannon loaded and pushed into position and you sight and aim it I'll actually get you to roll a attack with that by the way does this count as an aimed uh, attack? yep it does Okay, now just quickly checking where I could find the attack rolls. Uh, wait, the 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 actions. Where were they? Uh, what page? Yeah. Uh, thirty-three for major and minor actions. Nice. I'm very nerdy. I've got all the right pages spread out by my side, so I can access them at any one given time. <laughs> That's uh, actually true, really smart. A true wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. On that ah, good. One, so what I'll do is I'll get like a nice one nice. <laughs> Okay, that's plus one. I add a cursey to aiming with the cannon, right? Yes, you do. Okay. In that case, that's 20. Whoa. So, nice. you line up and sight the cannon. Tarkin hands you a rod that has a small wick just on the end of it. And holds out his pipe for you to light it. <laughs> <laughs> As you dip the end into his pipe, you hear it start hissing and a very, very fi- uh, faint flame appears on the end. Tarkin takes a step back, covers an ear and screams fire and you tap this into the um, small powder cap. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I've been chucking the whole time, so you're fine. The dirty. <laughs> sorry is not enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> the cannon thunders and the barrel on the end explodes into splinters. Oh yeah. With a perfect hit. <laughs> Tarkin is grinning ear to ear and he goes, lad, if you do that every single time, even a battleship is going to be terrified of the Argonaut. Well, the the plan is to repeat this. I like it. 
that's my lad. And then he turns around to Bingo and the others and goes, your turn. And steps back to watch. On the other side of the ship, with our would-be trainers. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> it will be fine. <laughs> I would... Do you remember when I said that fighting and strength were my dump stats? <laughs> 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 it well, will be good. Actually, this is going to be a little bit more... Interesting than that. Let me just open this up. So, I would like each of you to roll first a fighting check. Aha! Uh -huh. I can roll fighting. That all three die again? Yep. If with, you... with the weapons that we you want to use? Yes. Assumedly? Okay. On top of that, I would also like a intelligence check. Actually, no, no. Scratch that. <laughs> Sorry, I'll scratch that. Communication check. Communication. Well, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure if that's any better. That's fine. Uh, my weapon. Uh, oh, wait, uh, guys, uh, are we still level? Uh, currently, yes, you were still level one. Fighting. Zero. You know what? I literally just spotted what your new name was. Hmm? A certain non zombie monkey. Mm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, so for fighting, I got 15. So that's Taryn got 15. Yep. For fighting, and then for my. Um, uh, so you did did well on fighting. Yeah, not so well. Uh, well, I got four for my dagger and then five for my short sword. Yeah, no need to actually roll damage, oh, but that's alright. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. <laughs> uh, and then you went for communication as well, yeah. Yep. Well, that was interesting. Wow, I, I rolled the same as. <laughs> that is mad. Yeah. I got but you, you have stun points. <laughs> yeah, I'm just deciding what to use with them. <laughs> uh, my communication. Why can't I do an equals? There we are. Um. Right here. Yeah. Will you allow role playing stunts? Yes. Uh, for, okay, lit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and Wisps, you're actually with this group as well, so. Actually, did I have you with this group or with the cannon group? I, f I, I think you said cannon group. Sorry, I did have you with the cannon group okay. for a good reason. So. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yeah, I will start with the ones that I've seen. Mug, you go about your business literally laying into this mustachioed human. <laughs> and he is doing his damnedest to try and stop you from pummeling him into the deck. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> did, did he roll really badly? Um, no, basically the fighting is to test how well you taught them to fight. Yeah. But it has to be coupled with the communication. <laughs> it's, it's fun, right? You took a while to get across what you were doing and how you were doing it, but he was starting to get the drift of it by the end of it and starting to actually hop, present a bit more of a challenge. Based on that, right yo. Bajiri, you make an absolute show of this fight. You've. Yay. Managed to maneuver yourself so you are actually in the space in the middle of the deck and you are somehow not only teaching this 
sailor how to uh, fight in close quarters melee, but making it look beyond easy. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. The others are inspired by how easy you make it look and seem to throw themselves into the training with a bit more gusto. <laughs> Out of the corner of your eye, the medical officer has the faintest of smiles. Mission complete. I've made him smile and not face palm. <laughs> <laughs> Taryn, you've mm -hmm. been almost effortlessly showing each move as you fight and how you do it and having this sailor almost mimic you perfectly each time. Wow, that's quite unexpected. Woohoo! <laughs> Ironically, uh -huh. Flaley McFlaley has been doing exactly the same with almost military precision. <laughs> it's almost like he is used to drilling. Ah, uh, because he's a trainer he's not... Oh, Alrighty. Um, I don't know what to spend my stunt points on. Since, like, I've got six, but I don't know what to do with them. I can't think of anything that exciting. <laughs> um. Well, you also have the role-playing stunts. Yeah, no, I was looking at them. Um, it's there. Uh, can I do stuns? Oh, sorry, I'm just getting loads of white noise. Gonna be yeah, okay same. That. Okay, that's all right then. Um, can I do stun silence? Yep. Um, and then I don't know. Bond not. It's not using all my points, but I don't know what else to go for. So. No, that's all right. <laughs> so just double checking. Dumb silence. Yep, and. Bon Mott. Oh, how much spells? I need to go up to there. Right, yeah. So at one point you show one of the exact moves that you use during the fight and perfectly execute it so both your weapons are mere millimeters away from the neck of the sailor that you're fighting and there's sort of a soft silence sort of descends as the others realize just how close that would have been to taking it clean off his head wow <laughs> but you've pulled the strike and then with the cheeky grin, turn around and point out, well, what exactly would you say in that kind of situation? Um, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, for lack of anything, and this is how you leave your opponent headless in a fight. <laughs> The but Jerry's probably going to make a comment to who he's, uh, the people he's training and just be like, glad he didn't slip. <laughs> <laughs> Karen's just going to tag on, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> that said, we go back to the other side of the ship and we will have <laughs> Tarkin sort of nodding appreciatively at Bingo's attempt which he scratches his head for a bit going I was almost certain that cannon was going to explode and then turns and looks at Wisp alright you're up and just just towards the cannon that Edric was standing at you see on the other side the ship has tossed another barrel off, this one with a balloon, and they've uh, gone to the effort to paint a giant smiley face on it. Mm -hmm. 
as the barrel drifts further from the... Do we actually have a wisp? Yeah, sorry, what? That's hey. right. <laughs> That's right. I was getting a bit of white stack static there. Um, as the barrel drifts away uh, from the ship and is now being towed behind, the two sailors pull the cannon back and look at you, Wisp, to see effectively what they want to do. So are you going to load the cannon as per the instructions or are you going to get a bit creative? <laughs> Try and copy thingamabobbin from earlier. Yep. Rightio, so you give the same instructions that Edric did and the cannon gets loaded and they push it back. Um, I will get you to roll a attack with accuracy. Tarkin's now leaning on the railings, watching the barrel with a squint. <laughs> Edric, could you roll some perception? <laughs> um, yes, of course. Um... Perception. Okay, that's... Thirteen. You're looking at what the gunnery tree is um, squinting at, and you realize that they've not only drawn a smiley face on it, but they've painted a name. Uh -oh. And after a long moment, Tarkin swears and goes, The cheeky bastards. <laughs> <laughs> what did they write? His name. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll burst out laughing. <laughs> and with that, a cannonball sails clean over the top of it. Good. <laughs> Tarkin oh, turns around and grins. Can I whisper to Wisp? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's good his name was on it. Now you can use yeah. that. <laughs> Tarkin turns around and chuckles and goes, Nice to see my face still scares even cannibals off. <laughs> <laughs> And he goes, we'll keep you going until you can hit it. Thanks. As the crew pull the cannon back and start loading again, uh, I will get everyone on board to roll perception. Ooh. Gracious. Are they catching up to us by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming perception seeing. Uh, perception seeing, yes. Oh! I don't even have to do maths to be like, yeah, that's good shit. <laughs> that makes me happy. So it's two, isn't it, for seeing? Yep. Yeah. I probably didn't see whatever it is. Edric, you're too busy trying to work out exactly what calculation you need to do to hit that barrel square on. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Whoa. Holy Jesus. <laughs> oh. Righty yo. So. I have eyes. <laughs> and they're good. <laughs> Also, it looks like Wisp got six stunt points there. I got a stunt point on my looking, but... <laughs> <laughs> no. 
you need to pass the test to <laughs> use <Yeah>. stunt points. <laughs> that said, everyone who rolled higher than a 13, you see a dust storm coming in. Everyone higher than a 17, as you look at the dust storm, you see the faintest shadow of an outline in the encroaching cloud bank. As you squint, you see flashes. I would like to spend um, my stunt points so that I spend three on the upper hand to give me plus three initiative. And I would like to spend the... It was either three or four. Either way, the last one uh, is going to be... Can I use Bon bon moi, bon, bon Mot? Bon whatever? Yep. I can't... <laughs> bon I can't English. Like, I can't even fucking do anything <laughs> else. Um, and uh, for that, the extra thing that I'm going to say at the end of my thing is, I'm going to fucking just shout and just be like, incoming. <laughs> Rightio. Based on that, everyone on deck spins and looks at you, looks in the direction you're looking, just as a vessel only ever so slightly larger than your own, emerges out of the storm bank. And the small ship that had been tossing barrels off for your entertainment on the right-hand side detonates in a cloud of splinters after taking a full broadside. Karen's just going to squeak. <laughs> Can I yell out to the people? Because I, I guess I noticed this now. Um, you notice the sound of the ship detonating. <laughs> I'll, I'll yell at the people that were helping me, like do, uh, like shoot the cannon, and I'll just yell, "Well, guys, let's get on it." They don't waste a breath. Everyone is at panic stations now and rushing. Uh, to their allocated battle stations. The captain is now back up on deck, swearing and rushing up towards the helm. And the medical officer turns to you, those of you that have been practicing brawling on the deck and <coughs> gestures towards the other cannons on the right-hand side and says... We're going to need you guys on the guns. At least until we can get the more experienced people up on deck and ready to go. Follow Tarkin's orders and we'll all see this through. And with that, Tarkin gestures to Edric, Wisp and Bingo and points at the nearest three guns. And sets you in charge before striding down and starting to shove people towards different guns and going through as rapidly as he can the basics of how to fire a cannon. <laughs> uh, I will get everyone that wasn't on the cannons to roll me. A Just making sure I get the right one. A, I'll just go with a straight intelligence check on this one. An intelligence check? Yep. Cool. Just to make sure that you get all the oh, instructions. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I, I got a stunt point in it, but... <laughs> I, I, I think... Um, <laughs> in the meantime, the captain has... <laughs> oh, boy. This is going to be fun. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Should I just out of character not listen to the instructions? <laughs> oh, oh, don't worry. Um, when it comes to firing this thing, you're at disadvantage. <laughs> um, 
as in M Mug is just not listening at all. Yep, Miracia, you're also on the guns, and I'm just double checking how many things this thing carries off the top of my Don't head. Worry, really. Trust me, there's plenty of guns on the ship. <laughs> Good. Actually, yeah, you're all going to wind up on a cannon individually. Uh oh. Uh oh. oh no. That means Mug is going to shoot one. <laughs> I have a question. <laughs> I will... This is going to go badly. <laughs> Can I point out, Flaley McFlaley is also on his own gun. Oh, no. <laughs> he usually has one good action. If well, one shot. he's in the same boat that a certain mug is in. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. May, may I use my four stunt points t uh, for the upper hand again so I get a plus six to my initiative in total? Go for it. Yeah. With that, roll initiative. And consider yourselves armed with cannons. Um, can you tell us? Sorry? How do we do? So, initiative is dexterity. Say that again, sorry, you broke up. So, just roll the three dice and add it. Yep. So that's the... Yeah, add your decks for initiative. So it's the uh, our, our three die and decks, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Sorry, clarify that. Uh, can I choose what I want to do with my stomp points from my? Yes, you can. Whatever the other one was. Uh, question. Yep. Uh, if I cho choose pierce armor, will that work on a ship, or does that only work on a person? Ah, uh, radio. Um, let me just double check if I had it pinned. Yeah, you had the custom stunts pinned. There is custom stunts for cannons. I will copy oh. them and drop them back in. I, I feel like I hey, is that. Oh. Well, actually, it's not just cannons, it's for ships, but there is one for cannons, which is target the mag magazine, Jeeves, for four points. It means you do double damage if you hit with a cannon. Oh, okay. Uh, for four points. Uh, can I use that then? Yep. So Fantastic. Thank you. what I will get you... Oh, hang on. Jump to present. Thank you. I'm so far off in the chat. Uh, so initiative-wise, we have... Sorry, I'm just count, literally counting mine. There we are. No, no, that's right. That shouldn't have been so hard to count. <laughs> it's really embarrassing. Bajiri, you had plus six on yours, so you're at 20, are you not? Uh, I am at 18 for, Sorry. Uh, uh, in, uh, in total, I believe. 18 on is that. Is that including the plus six? Uh, that is including the plus six, yeah. Terran's on 16. 15. Sorry? 15. <laughs> I appreciate the extra point. But <laughs> oh, sorry. I was looking at the one above that. Um, Edric, I'm presuming you're on 16. Yeah. 16. I feel like I'm rolling so well. And then yeah. Mug is on 13. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> He is so looking forward to killing us all with Mug's cannon shot. <laughs> oh, those dead guys can get deleted. Uh, I'll use my stun. One on that, and do 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 like that, and then you wind up with whatever the hell I roll here. Right. Oh shit! I got six stun points on the uh, six stun points on the initiative roll. Uh, no stunts on initiative, unfortunately. Okay. Damn it. Uh, Mirosia and Wisp are missing yours, so we have sixteen for Mirosia. Don't see wisps in chat yet, and I still need to do 
Uh, I'll just put next on mug. Uh, sorry, on bingo until <laughs> bingo is free to join us. Um. Is it dexterity? What? Yep. Uh, so it is three dice plus dexterity for initiative. And as. Say that again, sorry. Um, so throw three dice. Uh, huh? The total of that plus your dexterity will give you your initiative. And in the meantime, you see the ship now peel in to engage what appears to be the biggest threat, which is your ship. All the smaller vessels <laughs> are hightailing it um, <clears throat> as far away from this thing as possible. The captain, on the other hand, has spun the helm and is moving in to engage. And I actually need to put him in here. So how many have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. I am sin binning these. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. On the outside, that's going to be interesting. Uh, roll that one for him. Oops. All right. Turn order now is Bajiri, you're up first. Uh, who's fastest out of Edric and Mericia? I have three dexterity. I've got one of those. Yeah. Right, yeah, so two, three. So Edric's second, Mericia is third, Taryn is fourth, the gunner is fifth, Mug is sixth. That's seventh. That's eight, and that's nine, at least until we get further in. Based on that turn order, you hear the chief gunner scream, fire all cannons, and Bajiri, you're the fastest to react. <laughs> Hell yeah! Okay, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> so, roll a attack, add your accuracy. Um, if you do not have black powder, subtract three. Luckily, I have black powder. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. And it was accuracy, oh, no, I'm, right? I'm, uh, I'm accuracy. running out of battery. I will, I will look for a different... No problem. Uh -oh. So, I got 12. Noted. I think... If I did my maths correctly, six plus four plus one plus one is twelve. Yeah, I've not made a maths error so far tonight. <laughs> Let's hope I keep this up. <laughs> now, now you jinxed it. I touched wood. I'm fine. <laughs> Let me just. Context roll. is very important with statement, statements like those. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, I I will let you imagine whatever you want to imagine. Uh, with that, you do hit. Excellent. Let's just say that it would take someone with the inability to hit something the size of a barn to miss. So Mug could still miss it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what damage do I roll? Rightio. This is where it's going to get fun. I have many a d6. You're mm. going to need them. <laughs> Scrolling up. 10d6. Was, was that 10, sorry? 10d6. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Do I need to fight get 10d6? Uh, if you are needing more, I've got a stack load here, so I can roll damage for you. Just hit, hit, hit the noise. Just... Oh. <laughs> oh, bastard. Oh, I always dropped the dice. Uh, oh, fuck me. Now I'm going to make a bath, Sarah. So that's... <laughs> Uh, 12 
plus 10 is 22. Plus 10 is 32. Plus 4 is 36. Yep. Yeah. I was... Uh, just, just if anyone wants to check my maths. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 44. Huh? <laughs> and this is that, why. That's not 44. No. Huh? Wait, I, I miss math. I'm not making the math errors tonight. That is 36. Yeah. <laughs> Rightio. You see a massive cloud of smoke in front of you as you fire the cannon. And after a couple seconds, your shot smashes into the side of this enemy ship. You can the see it's done damage, pleased. but you don't know how much. Concerned, but still pleased. <laughs> Radio, the next cannon up, I believe, was Edric. Mm -hmm. Fire away. Um, um, wait, I've just realized something. Yep. Gorbstar? Was you the one who, who used the stunt on, like, the cannon? Which stunt? Uh, the... I believe it was Taran who did oh, that. Oh, yeah. The, the oh, hit on the deck thingy. Ah, right. That will be... Uh, target the magazine jeeves. That will be yeah. on Hurricane, yeah. Okay. Oh, God. Yep. So I get five stunt points? Yep. I know what you're buying. <laughs> Possibly. Um, so I get 13 plus my four fingers. That's 17 to try and hit. Yep, that definitely hits. I'm taking target the magazine, Jeeves. Yep. So that does double damage, was it? Uh, let me just double check that again. It is, yes, double damage. So that's 10d6 and then just double that. Yep. Uh, you can also still use combat stunts. Don't forget. Ooh, cannons require a reload, don't they? Yes, they do. I'm going to use the, the thing that I like, like to use often. I'm going <laughs> to rapid reload the fucking cannon. Go for it. Okay, so... So, in the meantime, roll system. your damage. <laughs> that looks good. Just the sheer amount of die in this box. <laughs> <laughs> and while you math... So, Edric aims the cannon, immediately lights it, steps out of the way as it fires and slams backwards with the force of the blast... And as the smoke cloud clears, he sees his shot sail outwards. He doesn't even wait to check and see if he's hit. He's already grabbed another powder charge and he's shoving it like, slashed it open with a knife, tossed it in, shoved the wadding in, and he's shoving the others on his crew to get this thing reloaded and ready to go. Okay, now, now I'm doing the maths because I just <laughs> shot a picture for you guys. <laughs> That's a lot of dice. 10, 15, 20, 25, 31, 37, 40, 43. And that's what I got. And I doubled that. Yep. So 86. Uh, wow. <laughs> What, what what is this <laughs> roll for? Oh my god! I'm firing a cannon. <laughs> <laughs> this is eighty six damage from one single cannon shot. 
Yeah, don't get hit That's by cannons. A... <laughs> 71. Uh, yeah, I, I guess even Mog might not survive a cannon ball yet. I love the yet there. <laughs> yet, yeah. Eventually Mug will fucking catch the cannonball and throw yeah. it back. <laughs> oh yeah. Right here. One day. Next up we've got Maricia. Hello. Uh how many people actually f was it only Mug that fudged the roll for the intelligence check? <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> That's right, Maricia, you're up. Uh, so rolling an attack with accuracy. If you've got black powder, it's just a normal attack roll plus accuracy. If you don't have black powder, you minus three off it. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I rolled a four and a three, and then on my separate dice of three, and my accuracy would be three, but that's minus three. So there we go. So I got four. So that's four. ten. Yeah, and one of those was on the. So, yep, so you've get, got three stunt points. <laughs> and a 10 just hits. Uh, yeah. Um, what do I do with the stunt points? I haven't got. Um, you don't quite have enough to hit the magazine, but you can use standard combat ones, uh, such as rapid reload. <laughs> and. Pierce Armour's not a bad one. I will try that one. <laughs> Sounds like an excellent idea. Mericia has been watching Edric fire mm -hmm. and then does a perfect replication of exactly what he did. Right. She's a quick learner. She's thick as shit, but she... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give her a thumbs up. <laughs> that will help inspire her. <laughs> yeah. So with that, that will be 10d6 of damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. 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 In the meantime, I'm double checking which how much hit points I gave these things. Yep. Noted. Oh, it's so fun to roll this many dice. <laughs> Why do you think I put cannons in this? <laughs> yeah. I'm so okay. thankful. I love it. We need to find a way to make them portable. We need to find yeah. a way to make them do more damage. <laughs> yes. We were, we were strapping the, the bingo to it with the good in our hands. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, and with like a lance and like a bomb at the... Yeah. yeah. So, what, what was that design? <laughs> The, 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 the missile with the warhead design. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I could, I've got 48 d6s that I could use to roll damage, so... so we just need to do 48 d6 damage. You, you could fire, like, entire ship's worth of cannons on one yep. end. God, I love dying. G guys, so. just pray that I will do a small amount of damage. <laughs> so I bet I will roll a large amount of damage. I'm just praying you don't get three ones. <laughs> oh. that, that would be an issue. Mm. I mean, on damage, it would be nice, but uh, <laughs> if I'm shooting... Hmm. So that was 31 damage, then. 31 damage, noted. Uh, and you also did the armor piercing, so mm -hmm. that halves it down. So that is a You're decent amount. You're forcing him to do maths now. Well yep. done. <laughs> yeah. There are some reasonable looking holes in the side of this ship right now. <laughs> Are they taking on air? Because <laughs> the is not necessarily a thing here. Um, as Maricia fires a cannon, she's going to kind of look around at you like, oh, gosh, it's rather fun, isn't it? It's a bit loud. <laughs> That's the fun of it. And be like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, it's Taryn's turn. Uh, what am I rolling? Is it accuracy? Accuracy, um, yep. 
yeah. if you don't have black powder, minus three from it. Yeah. Oh shit, you already doubled the damage, right? If you hit. Uh, I've not done great here. So, I rolled three twos. <laughs> Plus my accuracy, which is two, so that's a grand total of eight minus three. That's a score of five. <laughs> you fire your cannon, but you've rushed your aim, and your cannonball goes sailing clean <laughs> over the decks <laughs> and hits a completely unassuming bird. You kill the bird <laughs> with a cannonball. Oh, it's probably death by this stage. <laughs> oh. You not only killed it, you cooked it as well. <laughs> yeah, and mushed it up. Oh no, I feel really bad now. <laughs> she might just, she might just, like, uh, he's just gonna like do a little kind of <laughs> squeal and cry a little bit. I think at that attempt. It's okay, you haven't exploded the, the ship. So That's you're true. You're doing better than Mark. Yeah, three ones has not yeah, damaged and would damage all of my friends, but I got three twos, so I'm all good. Yeah. Close, but not quite. <laughs> you got stun points out of it, right? Right. Yeah, uh, not, not if you miss. No, because it's a failure. Yeah. Right, yo. So the gunnery chief shoves his cannon into place. And <laughs> is that a thing? I love that picture. What was the what was the bird by any chance, Kevin? <laughs> Someone. Uh, <yeah>, no. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin alone. He is a majestic being. I will steal more cake for. Him. He was also a Nazi pigeon. He's not Nazi. You started that rumor because I fed him your. I didn't actually start that rumor. Man. It was a mob who started talking about a Nazi pigeon. Not spreading it then. <laughs> no, because my oh, cake was stolen for it. <laughs> <laughs> they touched my food. Crossover pluck. Uh, do, do, do. So, the dwarven gunnery chief takes aim and fires his shot. And immediately pulls the cannon back out, physically himself, for the reload, and rapidly gets it. The other crew members wow. loading it, and shoves it back with a kick, ready for the next shot. Nice. You see his shot sail clean into the side, and flame jumps out as he does a shot that. Must have hit something rather important inside there and does double damage. Nice. <laughs> so this is going to be fun for him to roll. Yeah. Yep. He knew what he was aiming for. Two, four, six, eight, and ten. Oh, shit. Well. It's a little eager to jump off. He didn't like that shit. Oh, is it good? <laughs> so that is 32 damage, doubled 62. Nice. Minus the armor. Wait, it says only 62? I thought it would be... Uh, there was a pair of ones in there. Uh, do, do, do. Righty up. Plus. And his turn done brings it up to. Oh, yay. Mug, it's your turn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's time, guys. <laughs> Is that the Elmo and now we die? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that is the Elmo of death. 
Right. So I roll three dice to attack. Right? Plus your accuracy minus uh, if you don't have um, black powder three. So you minus three off the, if you don't have black powder. Uh, and because you weren't paying very much attention, you... disadvantage. <laughs> uh, what, what does disadvantage mean? So I roll twice and the verse. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> so can only guess. Entertaining. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, my, my accuracy is two, so that it almost cancels out. So I only have minus one. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see. Oh my god, uh, my first roll would have been amazing. <laughs> Did you triple six on your first roll? <laughs> no, it's a six, five, four. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately I have to roll again. Which is not actually that bad. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's, it's not a disaster. Yeah. He don't, he don't actually die. Not, yet. Not this turn. Next. Next. I'm, I'm guessing I'm not going to succeed. But. You actually hit with that one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Mug actually hit. And, and now Mug will get overconfident that he knows what he is. <laughs> <laughs> How much I roll damage with? Uh, 10 d6. Yep. And was that a three and a three? So you get three stunt points too. Ah. So what can I do to stunt? Uh, combat stunts, you've got the one point combat stunts up to lightning attacks, not going to work, but any of the okay. two or one point stunts should do. But if you want recommendations, something like Pierce Armor is good. Sorry? Yep. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to... And with three, you could probably do a rapid reload. Uh, you don't get stunt points on, on the damage rolls, right? No. Oh, God, no. Because if we're rolling 10d6, you would have so many opportunities for... <laughs> 18 stunt points, fuck yes! <laughs> Wipe uh, out the entire ship in one go. Just remember, you can still legendary on a cannon. That's very true. How? But just my goes through the ship, just takes the captain's head straight off. <laughs> yep. Still standing at the helm, but like, as it just slowly slops over, just. <laughs> I think I'm going to use the calculator on this one. <laughs> I've got one permanently open right now. Because <laughs> I have to deal with the damage. <laughs> oh, for... there you go. Minus that. Okay. Uh, and I don't, I don't double it, right? Uh, nope. Oh. Okay, so that was pretty decent, actually. Yep, you put a reasonable size hole in the side of the ship. You dented okay. it. See, see, you guys are worse than me. <laughs> it's not going to be fine. Uh, so that it's is... It's all just happened because I rolled well, so... And that now Mark thinks he knows what he's doing, but this is just dumb luck. You time. see several... Holes in the side of the ship. There's a couple of fires now. It looks like you've been chipping away at it. Yeah. Uh, do, do, do. So that was Mug. That brings us up to... Oh, this is going to be fun. Mac Mac Flavie? Uh, no, them. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I like that. <laughs> Always a worrying sign, isn't it, when they get to fight back? Yes, they're not <laughs> supposed to do that. They're supposed to sit still and be pretty until they die. Exactly. Is that not how this works? 
you know what, because it's hilarious, I am marking that one as a fail. That one's a hit. I would love if they triple one on their attack, by the way. Oh, one of them that did. That would be amazing. Oh, exactly. no way. <laughs> oh, my goodness, no way. Oh, 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 by, by the way, Glenn, did I, did I manage to use any of my stuff? Uh, uh, oh, I'd actually counted that you'd used um, armor piercing, but you can also do a rapid reload if you want. Because you had a spare stunt point after. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, okay, let's do a rapid reload. What does that mean? Do uh, I, it do means you've already reroll, re -roll, ah. Rerolled. It means you've already reloaded the cannon for if you need to fire it again. Okay. Instead of having to do that next turn instead of shooting. Yep. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Lucky. Righty, yeah. Um, they did pretty shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yay. So your ship just got hit three times, and the more perceptive of you just watched a cannon detonate on their ship. <laughs> nice. Did it take out a nice big chunk? I will roll its damage because that's going to have some consequences for them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There we go. <laughs> I almost need to take a photo of this. <laughs> Their first cannonball did a whole bunch of ones. Oh. Six, eight, twelve. So how much damage did they do in total? Well, the first cannonball did nine points of damage. So you literally in see, in total, it literally, wow. let's just say that you see a cannonball sail clean over the side, bounce off the deck, and go flailing over the other end of the ship. <laughs> Not doing an awful lot in between. Oh my god. All right, this guy knew who what he was aiming at. What, a ship? Uh, that goes to well, well, the, the only bird in the sky was already taken out, so <laughs> there wasn't really much else to aim at. <laughs> there, there may have been a leftover feather. 30, uh, that. I feel like Taryn's going to open up a bird sanctuary at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Radio, 10, 20, 24, 5, 6, 7. So that's 27 plus 9 for damage so far. And the third cannoneer. Yeah, he's seen better days. Yeah, he's definitely seen better days. So that's 11. 15 points of damage from him, too. Twenty-seven plus 9 plus 15 is the grand total they got. So they did 51 points of damage to your ship, which... I am pretty certain, I think it was Idrake did more damage in one shot than they've managed with an entire broadside. Oh, and then I get to do the fun roll. Is that the exploding cannon? Yep. Come on, high numbers. Oh boy. Let me just double check what I wrote for the rules, because I think it was half for a rifle. Yeah. You see the cannon fourth in line on the ship, 
explode in flames and smoke and shrapnel. And seven crew that were manning the deck next to it get shredded. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's unfortunate for them. Good for us. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually going to be cheering them on. <laughs> Let's just say there's a few people on your ship that are also cheering. Uh, and that was their attempt at a turn. <laughs> I mean, it, it was a turn. It was yeah. an, an attempt. Commendable attempts. So the captain actually rolled doubles on that. Do, 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 do. I need to go to his special stunt table. Yeah, he is definitely, definitely spinning on that. The captain starts spinning the wheel and the ship starts lurching as he is dodging and weaving and actually turning the ship bow in slightly to close the distance. And it's hard to tell, but it seems like it is going to be very hard for the gunners on the other ship to get a clean aim at you. And as that's happening, Flaley takes his shot. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Come on, Flaley! Well, us proud. in good we news... Need to find out what his name is. His real name. Yeah, we really do need to find out what his name is. <laughs> his name is Flaley. What, what are you talking about? I'm taking a photo of this. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Is it good or bad? Oh, we don't know. We don't, we don't need to find out his name. Actually, no, for a gravestone. Yeah. No, <laughs> uh, whoop. That's the wrong chat. My phone's not playing nice. There we go. And camera. Oh, I can't, I can't bear the suspense. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like we need some sort of count, like countdown music. Da, na, da, da, na, da. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, wee, that's uh, at least uh, it's not <laughs> ones. <laughs> black powder. <laughs> you see the you see the ball just roll and then drop off the side of the ship. What? <laughs> <laughs> he forgot to add fucking gunpowder or something. For, for me, you cut out, and all I heard was drop off the side of the ship, yeah, and I'm yeah, just like, yeah. really? <laughs> I'll say you. Like, the the, there's like a flash of powder and smoke, but the ball, cannonball just rolls out of the uh, cannon and just limply falls off the side of the ship. Links between me and Flaley, we seem to be mirroring each other. <laughs> well tried, buddy, well tried. Well, at least it wasn't... <laughs> at least you tried. <laughs> at least yeah. it wasn't triple ones, otherwise yeah, you would have been true. mirroring the other ship. <laughs> yeah. Like, imagine if Flaley had done more damage to the ship than the other ships. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right here, and that brings us up to... Well, hang on. I had not actually had Whisper in the order. Where are you? Whisper is... Whisper is at 16. So actually, Whisper, your turn up, and then I'll pop you into the order properly. Okay. Uh, Kill it. Kill the ship. <laughs> yeah, it's your turn. Roll those rolls. Yeah, uh, that puts... This is a perfect time for six ones. Oh. Uh, six sixes. Okay, not six ones. Hang on a moment. <laughs> I'm sorry, I messed up my words there. <laughs> this is an inopportune time for ones. Um, and after say that. Yep. Uh, if you've got black powder, it's just a normal di dice roll. If you've got less than, uh, sorry, if you don't have. Black powder as a skill, it is uh, minus three. Also, I just put this up there for whenever oh. I have to deal with battleships. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> I 
That's amazing. I love that. A 10 is a hit. So roll 10d6 damage. Nice. Give me a shout if you need dice rolled. <laughs> Oh, actually, and with two sixes, you've got six stunt points, which means you can take hit the magazine for four stunt points for double damage. Okay. If you feel like it. For double damage. How many dice is it? Uh, it's ten d six, and then you double the damage score up. Uh, so that's four stunt points for that one, which leaves you two stunt points, which you can spend in the combat stunts if you want as well. Recommendations are stuff like Mighty Blow, Pierce Armor, Rapid Reload. If you want to be an asshole, knock prone will be hilarious. <laughs> Wait, would you knock knock knocking a ship prone would be quite impressive. No, 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 no. I'd do, I'd do that on crew. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the kind where you actually hit them in the belly. And they fly off the other end of the ship. <laughs> that, that's See, that one of those and we down thought... against the wind. <laughs> that, that, that's the part where we thought the 700 meter fall was from episode 1 was bad yeah <laughs> like throwing them off a fucking ship is gonna do a hell of a lot yeah a lot more damage <laughs> 11 I like how there's like maths going on in the background <laughs> it's such a nice gif as well it's so, so good. It's quite mesmerizing, isn't it? Yeah. That's the <laughs> word I was trying to go for, and the brain went for good. <laughs> Almost the same. It makes me crave more dice. Yeah. I love that the fact there's like, at the end, there's t different sizes as well. There's like a tiny little one, a, f a few tiny little ones. Yeah. Someone, they look really cute. Andrew, check my mark. Uh, 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 and, ooh, ooh, uh, that's a lot of pressure. Um, <laughs> two, five, ten, uh, fifteen, uh, twenty, twenty plus twelve is thirty-two. Thirty-two times two. I fucked up. I think I missed a number. That's because I missed a three, so that's thirty-five. So yeah, seventy. That's correct. <laughs> yes. Um, my calculator was not faster than you. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, nice. Oh boy. I need my dabbing monkey. <laughs> oh, damn it. If you post that, you get the duck as an applause. <laughs> That's basically me as a monkey. Uh, yep. If all these rumors everyone keeps saying are true. Aren't you basically you as a monkey? <laughs> there you go. You're not wrong. <laughs> right. Oh my god. <laughs> so, on your vague, estima vague estimations, you've done about 10 times more damage to them than they've attempted to do to you. Because <laughs> we're such excellent crew. <laughs> <laughs> so far, we have bossed all of our battles, I have to say. Why did you say that? Yeah. I know, sorry, touch wood, touch wood. <laughs> I'm, I'm just stroking <laughs> my cajon right now. I'm stroking what? My cajon. Oh, wait, that. Wait, you own a cajon box? Yeah, man. It's, it's, it was either this or I'd bring a drum kit to uni. <laughs> and yeah, Bajiri, you're yeah. first up. I need Ooh. one of those cajon drum kits. I have to reload, don't I? Uh, unless you use the rapidly re reload, yes, you do. I'm gonna reload in that case. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it easy. <laughs> uh, Edric, you rapid reloaded, didn't you? Yeah, I rapid reloaded. Yep. You get to fire if you so choose. <laughs> oh, okay, this is good. 
I would roll three fives. Yeah, that definitely hits, and you also get five stunt points. It's a 19 total. Yeah. I'm, I'm basically going to do the, the same thing as I did last turn with my stuns. So, so rapid that's... reload and hit in the arsenal. Yep, go for it. Roll your damage. Getting out my cannon dice. And... Mericia, uh, you rapid reloaded, didn't you? Uh, I did missing damage. I need to mark rapids. <laughs> Just so I can keep track. So. What? Five of my die ended up on a four. And then the rest is like ones or sixes. <laughs> I'm already doing the maths. I've already got the 20 in my head. Just need to deal the dice and then I'm, I'm golden. There's two sixes and three ones. 32, 35. Times two. I concur. 70 total. 70 total? Yes. Jesus. <laughs> Noted. And you've rapid reloaded again, haven't you? <laughs> yes. Radio, so <laughs> Mericia, I'm not 100% certain if I remember if you had rapid reloaded. I know you did armor piercing. I did armor piercing. Radio, so you'll reload. That brings us up to. Correct in the order we had Whisper. Um, hang on. It's Wisp, not Whisper. Um, <laughs> sorry, autocorrect has been adding stuff where it's not meant to be. Uh, do, 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 do. So you did a uh, rapid reload as well. So you actually get to fire again. Taryn nuked a bird out of the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Had a great day so far. <laughs> and then the bird showed up. Technically, Taryn's gotten more kills than Bajiri today so far. <laughs> I'm not sure that a bird really counts as a kill. I will what point. <laughs> yeah, you killed it. Is it dead? I I, I will yeah, point but... out on the score charts the person with the most kills was the one that blew up his own cannon. <laughs> on the other side. Uh, yes. yes. So are you saying that if we want to win this most kills, we should blow up our own cannons? <laughs> Which is probably going to be Mug, isn't it? <laughs> Mug might actually be aiming the wrong way at some point. Right. Noted on that. And to speed things up a little bit, so, I will have any of the people that did shots, oh, sorry, rapid reloads actually fire. So, Wisp roll an attack, and I'll do the same for Chief Gunner, since I think he was the only other one. Oh, Glenn, could I request of you that you write the names for like those three people? So, the, the face bombing elf. The, the uh, give me just a second and I can copy and paste them for you. Because. X. There we go. Thank you. That will be pinned now. Uh, do, 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 do. On this right, I'll give him that. See. Oh shit, I gotta stop tossing my dice everywhere. Press the hits. That's five. That's ten. Oh, 
Oh boy. <laughs> Why? What's happening? Uh, the gunnery chief rolled a lot of fives and sixes. Uh, so that's 20, 30. That gets subtracted out based on armor. 34 points of damage. Ready, go. So the other ship is actually starting to get a couple of fires. Oh, sorry. No, I lost all sound as well. All right. Time for the server jump. Yep, jump us. There we go. So the gunnery chief has also fired and he seems to have been aiming for the same spot he hit before. He just narrowly misses it, but still seems to cause quite a share of damage. You notice that the fires seem to be spreading a little bit on the other ship. Uh, Wisp are... Uh, Get you to do. Oh, how was it? Wisp that had the rapid reload back to my sheet. Wisp had a rapid reload. Yep. So Wisp gets one shot. And then I will roll these. Because after, after Wisp's shot, the chief gunner is going to bellow an order which you will have to roll a perception to actually hear over the return shots of the ones that are on the enemy ship firing at you. So we're rolling perception now? Yep. Those of you that were reloading, roll perception. Oh, those that were reloading. Yep. Uh, but, but people who have already reloaded? Uh... Mug, did you do a rapid reload? Yes, I did. Okay, you can actually get another shot. So you take your shot now. Yes. Yeah. But Taryn, Bajiri... Uh, am, uh, am I still at a disadvantage? Uh, currently, yes. Oh, man. Oh, my first shot was such a nice one. Oh. So this was okay. just a, a perception check, correct? Yeah. Yep, just a straight perception check. Oh, oh, uh, hearing, oh, if you've got it. Oh, 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 oh hearing. Oh, oh, that's okay. The jury smoke uh, sounds. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, I have to actually calculate which one was better because I rolled two really good ones. So, Alright, yeah. Oh, I didn't recall that. Okay. So with this oh. advantage, I got... You add accuracy as well, right? Uh, accuracy, and if you don't have black powder, subtract three. Uh. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Yeah, so I definitely hit. Yep. Uh, yes, you do. Yes. And you get five stun points. Get, I get five stun points. Nice. So it, can I do like double damage? Yes, you can. So, in fact, you can uh, you can even add a rapid reload on top of that double damage. Yep. Ooh. Nice. And as Mug is taking his shot, the captain's dodging and weaving has actually brought the two ships really close together. You can now clearly see the faces of the enemy crew on the other ship. 
And at a guess, there is only. Andrew, a... can you do this one? <laughs> um, <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 24, 30, I think. Oh, oh no, 36. Wait, 36? I think 36. Is that 36 or 30? I can't remember if I've counted that. 6. I'll check again. 10. Okay. I'll let the math occur. 36. 36. Okay. 36 uh, times 2, that's... 72. Uh, 72. Nice. Right here. Okay. So you've done 72... Mug didn't need to pay attention to. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mug is nailing this without having any idea what the hell he's doing. The ships are now about 60 meters apart. And the captain lurches your ship just as the enemies fire. And their cannonballs go sailing between the balloon and the hull of the ship. And don't really hit much except a little bit of the rigging. Mm. Mugshot you know really punches clean uh. through the side. <laughs> 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 no. You hear... Yeah, I... oh, sorry. At this point, you can actually hear the screams from where the uh, oh. cannonball went in. Wow. <laughs> so I that th I think was... Mug is just screaming, hell yes, I know how to do this. <laughs> 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 this dumb block. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah. Uh, and with, with my stunt points, yep. May I spend them uh, on the? I think it was. I've I've closed the stunt thing now, but uh, I think it was that makes me wonder, uh, which will allow me to do another perception check because I want to see whether or not. Bajiri wants to know whether or not it would be very uh, possible to jump across and get onto the ship at the distance that you are that we are now, whether we like swing with a rope or do whatevs. Radio. Um based on that, you can tell that the captain has brought you close enough, uh possibly with the intention of doing a broadside into the magazine. But you are almost at the range where you could conduct a boarding action with grapples, which you can see a couple of the enemy crew are preparing. It looks like they are going to make an attempt to grapple your ship and drag the two of them together. Nice. That would actually be perfect for my plan. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm worried now that you're planning. <laughs> Perfect for my plan as well. Good. <laughs> so. Uh, back to my turn order. That was all of that. And based on that, these guys... Now in. You know what figures only go there. Uh, uh, so mug fired. That brings us now down in the turn order to, funnily enough, the people who were actually going to join in the fight. <laughs> the enemy crew are... Uh, Launching ropes over with grappling hooks attached in an attempt to hook your ship. And with that, they actually succeed. So, hooks on very large, thick ropes sail across, and not all of them, but a couple of them sort of wrap over the railings and get pulled tight. Dragging your ship ever so slightly closer to theirs. On Within the... leaping distance? Not yet, but you're pretty certain that by the time your turn, so when you're ready, 
you'd probably be able to make the jump. Hell yeah. That's mm-hmm. a probably, though. That could end horribly. <laughs> <laughs> Three ones. <laughs> so... That actually brings us up to the captain. And he is... going to steer into it to try and loosen up the grapples but he doesn't succeed very well but at the current course you are going to be almost alongside the ship by the time Bajiri's next turn comes up uh, do, 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 do. That brings us down <laughs> to everyone's favorite flailing person. But Jiri literally wants to do that. <laughs> well, actually, he doesn't want to go into the tree, but he's going to wait for the captain's orders. <laughs> right here. So that brings us down to. Actually, we're back to the turn order. So. Bajiri, the ships are almost alongside now. You have literally got meters between them. The captain bellows for the crew on the ship to open fire with anything they've got. A couple of the crew have actually pulled out pistols and have cracked out rifles. Nice. Um, Right. So, is there... um... Because you, you you said that uh, the enemy ship fight, uh, like grappled our ship. Yep. Are the are the ones with the grapples all very close together? Uh, basically, the all in a line uh, pulling uh, across their own deck. Uh, the closest one will be almost on the railing, pushing off it, and they're trying to use the leverage to pull the ships together. You estimate that'd be roughly five to six crew per rope. Hmm. So, how many could I fit in a six by two box? Out of curiosity. To be honest, most of them. In that case, Bajiri's getting his blunderbuss out. (laughs) And he's seen this opportunity. So I'm going to double check. So the range on a blunderbuss is six it's yards. Like, oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right here. So what's Bajiri doing? Um, he is going to uh, uh, stop. Well, he's reloaded the thing, my Bob, and he is now pulling out his blunderbuss. Uh, and he is going to yeet himself as quickly as possible to the best position to get the most people in the shot of his blunderbuss. So what I'll do is I'll, get, it, I'll get you to do yep. a dex roll. Okie dokie. If you've got uh... anything like acrobatics or that, add to it, but... I unfortunately do not. Um... Actually, <laughs> from memory, you've been on ships before, so you... Yes, I do I do have a, a dexterity sailing. Add your sailing to it, so plus two. Okay, so that is a five plus a four plus a six plus my dexterity plus my sailing. So that is ten thirteen. Radio, you do something that you've practiced before on ships, which is you grab one of the broken cables from the uh, rigging that was hit by the cannon fire and just do a running launch, holding onto it. And as you sail out over the gap, you hold your blunderbuss out one-handed and... Point Could I be it. wielding my blunderbuss with both of my feet, considering you... I'm a monkey? Yes, you can. <laughs> Roll an attack. 
Ooh, this is brilliant. Oh, <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, it's not quite three sixes, but, um... <laughs> to be honest... And it's perception for shooty shoot, right? Uh, it is accuracy for... Uh, accuracy for accuracy aim, to aim perception and for perception for damage, yep. Yeah. Uh, Okie dokie. So that is... A 17 with six stunt points. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Okie dokie. Uh, so 1d6 plus two. I'm going for my metal d6. And I would like to... Oh shit, I just dropped my dice. Uh... Yeah, that's a good stun. <laughs> <laughs> I would like... If I were to do lethal blow, would that affect everyone in my range? Yes. I would like to, to do lethal blow and rapid reload. <laughs> Go for it. Ooh-wee. Um, now to select the dice. Okay. That's so how you ruin <laughs> someone's day. <laughs> it's how you ruin, like, six people's days. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I... I've lost a dice. I think it's on the floor somewhere, but I cannot see it, so I will find it another time and grab another d6. Uh... Okay, so that is uh, duh, 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 9, 11 plus 2, which is 12, wait, which is 13 even, plus perception, so 15, uh, and reload as well. Right, yo. You sail out, holding onto this rope, and as you swing, you draw and aim your blunderbuss with your feet. And just as you come to the apex of your swing, fire directly into the faces of a whole bunch of stunt-looking sailors. Wow. <laughs> nice. Poor bastards. They're messed up. <laughs> They are <laughs> not looking great. Most of them have dropped the ropes and are clutching face or wounded parts from the spray of your blunderbuss pellets. And I will actually get them to do... However, the one or two that is still holding onto the rope is actually still holding it. That that brings... They won't be holding it for long. <laughs> <laughs> you estimate you'd only have to really do that one more time and they would not be in any fighting shape. Excellent. That brings us up to Edric. So the, the cannons are on deck, right? So yep. if I were to fire a cannon, I could aim it at the captain of their ship. <laughs> Yes, potentially. I'm going to take an aimed shot. All right. So you pull the cannon back and aim it. You've basically pulled out the chocks that keep it level so that it's aimed somewhat more upwards than normal to get it over your own railing. The gunner chief is grinning as he watches you do this. Did you just triple six? Two sixes and a five. Oh. Yeah. So yes. close. <laughs> I did take aimed action, though. Wow. And my accuracy. So that's... 22 to try and hit the captain in the face. Let me double check what I had written for cannon. Ah, radio. Can I get you to roll a disadvantage because you're actually aiming at something that is humanoid size? That's... That's not bad, actually. I rolled three fives. With your aimed action and your... 
15, 16 Accuracy. plus 4 is 20 total then. Right, roll your damage. I have 5 stun points. You're probably not going to need them, but roll your damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to at least use rapid reload. <laughs> Forty-one damage. Glenn. Yep, I was just rolling something. You see a what looks like an officer standing next to the captain glance and see what you're about to do and try to shove the captain out of the way. <laughs> He loses his arm in the process. Oh, wow. And the captain oh, gets blown. Indication. And the captain gets blown clean off the ship. Oh, <laughs> So long and thanks for the memories. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me feel like the song for this session should be Thanks for the Memories yeah. by Fallout Boy. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I was gonna try and find like a, 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 a some Vikings sort of like sea shanty <laughs> war song, but nah. Thanks nah. for the memories. <laughs> Radio. Uh, that brings up. Wait, Glenn. Yep. Can, can I propose something like evil with like my last remaining four stud points? Yeah. Would a lightning attack and another rapid reload be possible? Let me just double check, like rapid, uh, sorry, lighting it, uh, do, 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 do. uh, you know what, fuck it, yeah, go for it. Is that another poor fucker that I can, like, shoot face off for a group that's standing together that deserve to die? Well, the officer's only got one arm, but I would assume he's still there, so maybe <laughs> yep. him. <laughs> yeah, but he's only got one arm, so he's less, less of a, like, th a threat to us. That's true. Um... I'll get you to do a perception. Okay. I probably did not see much. That's uh, seven total. Yeah, you no. You can't really spot anyone else important in the crowd of sailors that are sort of up against the railings of the ship right now. You presume there's probably an officer hidden in among the there somewhere because there should, in theory, be a gunnery <sighs> chief. But... And you wouldn't be able to place who's who right now. In that case, I'm going to do like the, the horrible thing and just aim at as many people as possible, like at, at the crowd. Yep, go for it. <laughs> I'll work out how many that's going to hit. Is that disadvantage as well because it's humans? Uh, you specified you were shooting into the crowd, so no. Good. That's 12. 16 total. Right, yeah. You aim for the center of mass of crowded sailors on the ship yep. who are rushing up, preparing to fire rifles and pistols across the gap. Your cannonball sails straight through a whole bunch of them. Oh, nice. You're not 100% certain how many of them have got pasted, but you're probably in the wrong of about somewhere Do between 7 to 12. Nice. Whoa. That upped my kill count. <laughs> Do I even need to roll damage for that one? Uh, actually, yeah, I'll get you to roll damage just to work it out. Um, okay, that's... I rolled really high on that first one, if I compare this one to it. This one is... 25 damage. Glenn. Yep. Uh, I'll say that seven sailors have just bitten the dust. That's pretty good. Right here. I'll just grin to, like, the cannon, uh, the, the, Chief Gunner or Gunnery Chief or something. 
He is grinning ear to ear back. The next on my list here is Mericia. Hello. The ships are almost close enough to be touching at this stage. Um, I very much would like to use magic, but I don't know how it would affect this because I've not done it yet. Right. Let me skip down to Arcana. <clears throat> so I've only got Arcane Blast at the minute, so it probably won't do very much to a cannon. Probably not. Okay, maybe I should just stick to cannons for now then. Uh, do, 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 do. Don't you have your novice Arcana skills? Uh... Yes? I don't know. Yeah, I'm opening your character sheet quickly. I've just got Arcane Blast written on there for level one. Uh, two, 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 two. There's more spells. You also have magic training at level one. Oh, yeah. See, I've just written magic training on here. <laughs> That's not very useful, is it? Nope, that would be why I probably missed it. Uh, I think you might have dropped something to me in chat. I oh, will try to It's find fine. It. I'll just do a uh, cannon for now. Okay, go for it. Because it otherwise it's just going to stall play. Yep. Um. So does that mean that... So I hadn't got the... I've, I've reloaded, basically, is what I'm doing now, yeah? And then shooting. You've... Um, you spent your last turn reloading already, so you may fire out when ready. Pew! Um, that's a 13. Are you aiming for the ship or for people? People! <laughs> uh, yeah, no, that she, would... no, ship. She wouldn't <laughs> want to hit people, she'd be too squeamish. <laughs> yeah, she's going to go ship. Okay, on the ship at that range, you can't possibly miss. So you just basically put the cannon out. It's literally about 10 meters from the other hull, and you just open fire. Awesome. Um, am I rolling the 10 dice again yep. for damage? Oh, this is so much fun. Oh, last one. Ah, oh, that's not gonna work. Uh, Thirty-four damage. Noted. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. It's it jolly good. Uh, there are a reasonable number of fires below the hull on this ship, and there is smoke coming out of some of the hatches. Uh, next up, we have Wisp. And I'm going to copy this into... Who is the guy that you've just put up? It's Phil Swift. So, I don't know who that is. He's the commercial guy for uh, uh, Flex Seal and Flex Tape and such. And that became a huge meme. Oh, you shouldn't use a chainsaw. He looks scary. <laughs> he does it to show that he can make the bucket waterproof again by pouring in flex seal but it oh, cool. like halves the depth of the bucket oh. <laughs> <laughs> so it yeah. doesn't really prove much ready up uh, it looks fun Wisp are you going to use your cannon or are you doing something else can we over to our ship yeah uh, you, then okay, wait. you reasonably believe that you could get across their ship. Anyone trying to get across to ours? Uh, you are pretty certain they're going to make the attempt. Because I would attack anyone who's going to try and come over to here. Okay. Uh, what you can do is you can actually hold your action for when they make the attempt to come across. So you want to prepare an attack for when they make that attempt?
do, 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 do. So based on that, Wisp, if you want, you can prepare to um, attack the first sailor that makes uh, effort to get across onto your vessel. I will just mark a hold action there. I just get going. That brings up Taryn. Yay! Um, Taryn's going to attempt to shoot the cannon again. Fairly certain that he might most likely will hit the ship at this point. <laughs> Go for it. And hopefully no more birds. Um, <laughs> what if there's a bird on the ship? Well, uh, who knows? Uh, <laughs> the whole time he's going to be being like, ship, not bird. Ship, not bird. <laughs> ship, not bird. Um, <laughs> and he's going to try and be a bit smart about it and find an area. So the area that the the gunnery chief tried to hit last time, he's going to aim for that as well. Yep. Again, so you can do an aimed explode. attack and, yeah, and plus one. Attack. Yeah. So I just add plus one, do I? Yep. Oh, sweet. Yeah, aim to tap. Oh, God. <laughs> so that's... I rolled a seven. Um, and is that accuracy that I add? Yep. Plus two is nine, plus one for the aim is ten. <laughs> At this range, somehow you almost make it look like you're going to miss... Uh, you've turned the cannon and you've aimed it exactly where the gunnery chief had fired. But as you're firing, you sort of lean on the cannon and it starts oh, to track back upwards. But you still manage to hit the ship. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting is definitely not Taryn's strong point. But does that mean I you just roll? You do roll die. damage, yep. Sorry, there is a picture that I need to. <laughs> <laughs> that is so what you did. Brilliant. <laughs> right. Yep. right um, uh, two sixes, two fives. That's twenty-two. Twenty-six. Thirty-five. Right, you noted. That gif has some sound to it. Does it? I think, well, unless I'm hallucinating. <laughs> like, when I've clicked on it, I could hear the sound. It's under pressure. What? But that can't be a gif. That's what I was thinking. I'm so confused. I don't hear I anything. Anything. I didn't hear it. Mm. I, I swear. I swear, <laughs> I swear, right. Uh, what, Andrew, is there anyone else in the house with you right now? Because you, uh... I can hear the minions what? talking. What What kind Andrew. of drugs are you using and can I get some of that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm on antihistamines for my hay fever, but, like, I'm not started that yet. <laughs> it's, I, I swear, I'm not losing it. Really? <laughs> yeah! And somehow I feel like we can't trust you. <laughs> I'm going to make a fool of myself every single one of these sessions, aren't I? <laughs> it, I can hear the boom of the cannon and everything. Uh, are you sure? Uh, are you okay, Andrew? Are you feeling alright? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just imagining it. I'm not. I'm genuinely not. Because I'm hearing the minions mutter. The cannon goes off. And then they're screaming. But it, Under Pressure is playing in the background. But it is the same clip of Under Pressure that is playing each time. Wow, okay. Uh, your mind is very vivid. <laughs> right here. Oh, I need to lie down. <laughs> <laughs> so the Gunnery Chief follows the example of Edric and pushes his cannon up against the edge and fires directly across the enemy deck. And he... likewise paces a whole bunch of soldiers. 
And with his turn done, that brings up Mug. Woohoo! Okay, so I guess I'm just going to shoot. Uh, wait, is everyone just going over or are they still shooting Ken? Currently, the only person that made anything resembling a boarding action was Bajiri. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't think Mug is as dexterous as Bajiri. Um, does it look like it would be difficult to board? Or? At the moment, there's about 10 to 15 feet between the two ships. Sorry, not feet, yards, so yards or meters. Um, oh. You can swing across a rope or you could actually, if you wanted, try to climb across on one of the grappling lines that the enemy has on your ship. Or you could just wait patiently looking at the poor sods no. that are trying to drag you close. Mug is not patient. Mug is anything but patient. <laughs> so I guess I guess Mug Mug could um, I just think so, so Mug, Mug could either shoot a cannon or try to board right yep at this stage okay. Okay, you're let, reasonably let, certain you could get across uh, let me just double check your speed You're pretty certain you could get across, but you would not be fighting straight away once you get across. Well, At least not yet. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um. The, I, I will try. I will try to shoot one more cannon because I still haven't fucked it up, <laughs> and I'm overconfident, and I'm enjoying the the destruction that the cannons are bringing. So. Let, let, for, for good luck's sake, let's fuck it up now. Whoa! <laughs> okay. My, my first roll was six, six, five. <laughs> oh, I wish I didn't have this advantage on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. So. Uh, yeah. So, so the second, the second roll. I'm now listening to this thing trying to hear under pressure. Me too! <laughs> <laughs> Same. I've just opened it in. It's only playing when in Discord. I've clicked the link and gone onto the website and ah. it's not playing any sound. But, like, through Discord... How are you? I'm, cl I'm clicking on the play preview, yeah. Yeah. And then it's playing the sound. We're I don't know if it's not help. doing anything. Hmm. I'm not. It, it might like I'm thinking. Is it because I'm on the phone? Like, is is, I, is that why? Let Let me check it. You on have my some phone. sort of weird magic. Let, let me check it, it on my phone. Sound. Is that a six mug? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. You because my 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 other role was. Uh, Holy fucking god! See, see, I'm not crazy! <laughs> you work on the phone! <laughs> on the phone it works! It has sound! Hang on a moment. Oh! <laughs> I heard that! I heard that! Who did that? <laughs> on my phone it works! I do okay. all said I was crazy! <laughs> I didn't! I believed you all along! I was just very scared! You're only, you're only slightly crazy. Um, this one doesn't have a sound. So, <laughs> Mug, you've shoved the cannon up against the edge and you've aimed roughly into the crowd of sailors and in a giant thunderous crack of smoke and powder and flashing embers... You fired. Your cannonball and, and, goes and. sailing clean over the tops of the heads of all the sailors. Uh. 
causing a couple of them to duck, but then sort of straighten back up. Aww. They're panicked, but then checking their limbs and certain they're okay. Uh, do, 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 do. That brings us to... I just have jumped over. Oh, well. Don't worry. Oh, well. The crew on the ropes are pulling in close enough and they're going to start making boarding actions. Oh, boy. Well, I'm just waiting on for them on this side now. <laughs> And based on that, you go there. Oh, you sorry sons of bitches. So. Also as in them. <laughs> all of the, the above. <laughs> Eight <laughs> enemy sailors have managed to make it aboard your ship, sailing across on ropes. And as you they, the vessels come close, even making the leap. Four of them fail. And fall between the decks of the ship just as oh. they come together. Oh wow! Oh. And yeah, they they triple wand. Oh dear. Bye. <laughs> nice. I'd like, like to find their that, captain. That, that they didn't fall all the way through and just heads just pressure a bit just. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Like a hammer to a melon. Yeah. <laughs> Radio. So the eight that did make it, six of them are attacking Edrix and Merisia's cannon crews, and two of them have jumped in over near Taran and Foley. And oh god. <laughs> Uh, Edric does a 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 here. Yeah. My um, defense is 13. Right. Yep, no. The boarding party that jumped over failed miserably to take your head off with a boarding axe and is preparing another swing. But you've managed to step just outside his range. Uh, Merisia. Okay, yeah, no, this one doesn't even get anywhere near you. <laughs> uh, and Taran. Mm -hmm. Does a 11 hit you? No, defense is 14. All right. So that one swings a cutlass and once again misses you. So that was mugshot. They've come across and attempted a body action and lost people in the attempt. Uh, let me put a giant fucking X because there's no one at the helm of the ship right now. And that brings us actually up to the captain who has gathered up a group of sailors and they're going to start firing a volley across at the enemy deck they kill a couple people but there's still plenty of soldiers trying to come across so far although I will roll the first of those yep brings us up to Edric how many boarded near me? Uh, off the top of my head it was four near you And it was two over near Taran. And they're like near each other as well, right? Uh, yep, yeah, they're all attacked. They've sort of split themselves between you and Merisia's cannon. Ooh, would it be possible to like push them all over? If they're like next to each other, I could use my arquebus as like a longer wait maybe to not damage them by attacking them, but just damage them by making them fall off the ship 
Um, you could make the attempt, but you'd have to do a dex to make sure that you don't clobber one of either your crewmates or Mira Sears cannon crew in the process. I'm fine with the rolling dex. Um, 11 plus 3 is 14. Yep, yeah, 14. Radio. Three, three stun points. Wait, is stunting a thing in this? Yes, it is because it's a test. Could, would I be able to use skirmish on this? Uh, yes, you may. I'm dumping all of my stunt points in skirmish. Radio. So that's legit uh, three st uh, skirmishes. So three of them are pushed back two yards. Right, you swinging your arquebus around blindly, manage to drive three of them back up against the railing. And I'm just going to roll this. Ready up. Uh, and roll a... Because you're going to try and shove them, are you not? Yeah. Uh, that will be a strength sinks. That, I'm undoing the maths, just my brain isn't clicking it. You know what, I'm going to do the typing thing. Nine, Fifteen. 15. <laughs> that, that number. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you swing your arquebus around like a club, wildly driving three of them back up, and then swinging it sideways, you use it like a pole and just run at them, sending three of them off balance off the ship. However, one of Mericia's crew wasn't quite good enough at dodging out of the way and clocked your arquebus across the side of the head and took some damage there. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that brings us to... Hang on. How do I manage that? Uh, but Julia, I think it's actually your turn, is it not? Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Right. So, how, how many of those bastards are still grappling onto the ship to keep them together? Because Julia uh, wants that ship to go down and us to not go down with it. There is currently two lines worth of grapple fully manned, and one of them that's got a lot of injured people around it that. Don't seem to be holding on to it too well. Yeah, but Jerry is gonna he's he's gonna gap them in the face. Go for it. Also, just a reminder to the people who are still using cannons, but Jerry did reload a cannon, so there is one cannon spare if it comes to your turn and you want to use a cannon and uh Ooh. you've not reloaded. Oh bollocks. I've got a four plus uh, accuracy makes it five, but I got two stunt points. Um, you swing out to do your exact attempt again of what you did before, but you uh, miss timer as you swing your gun out with your feet and fire into the deck directly in front of one of the sailors. Um. Yay. <laughs> um, and I can I spend my two stunt points to uh threaten uh my opponents to like not fucking come anywhere close to me to cons and uh I'm sorry, my language is atrocious. <laughs> um, um As it's a miss you won't use the stunts for it, but they will hear you shout that at them anyway. <laughs> nice. 
one or two of them look like they might be considering that, you know, they, they saw what happened before. <laughs> yeah, as it should be. Some of them this might be, <laughs> some of them might be thinking all oh, skill, no luck right there, but others are a little bit more cautious. Yeah, and um, the jury is going to, uh, movement-wise, he's going to move back onto the deck of the ship and uh, of our uh, the Argonaut, just yep. so that basically marking them. So he's just fucking ready for if they those bastards come over and fuck him and eat them in the face. Yep. All that good shit. <laughs> that brings us up to Mercia. Hello. Hello. Um. What is the nearest thing to me right now? I'm still stood by my cannon. Uh, currently you have the only survivor of the boarding party that jumped over <laughs> with his three mates. Uh-oh. Um, so... There is a really pissed off sailor standing next to you. Um, cool. I react by smacking him in the face with my quarter stuff. Go for it. Um, what do I roll for this? Uh, quarter stuff off the top of my head. 3d6 plus 3 for an attack roll. Is that right? Uh, and then I've got 1d6 yes. plus 1 damage. Double checking for your. That's a kind of. I need weapon details. Thanks. Here we go. Uh, your quarter staff falls under clubs from memory, which is accuracy. Yeah. So that would be three six plus three. Yep. That eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven to hit. Dial across to here. Have a look. What's your defense rating, fellas? Uh, nope, your swing just sells just past his head and he sort of tips it to let it sail past his ears and straightens back up, grinning at you and waving his short sword in the, your face. Awesome. Can I, like, do we get bonus moves in this? Or... Uh, you can move, yes, because you haven't currently moved. Um, do you get like bonus actions? Sorry, as well. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you've got a main action and a short action. So short actions can be stuff like aim. Uh, don't can worry. Can I smack him in the face with my gauntlet as a bonus action? I'm just asking because I know that in D and D you can do as a monk you can do a weapon attack and then a knock. Do, 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 do. Although I suppose a gauntlet still counts as a weapon, doesn't it? Yeah, it still counts as a weapon. I'm just a... Oh, you're a mage too, so yep, no, that's yeah. right. Um, also, a reminder for all the rogues, you do get one point attack. Oh, God. What's that? That means that if your dex is higher than the enemy, you deal 1d6 more damage? Yes. Oh. I'll bear that in mind for my next turn. Um... Alrighty, uh, Mercia, I'll I'll say you go to sort of strike him with your glove as well, and he dodges that, sort of stepping backwards out of the way. Dickhead. Okay. <laughs> I love to change the turn there, just dickhead. Okay. <laughs> uh, um, can I move so that I'm slightly more out of range? Of the yep, you can sort of disengage... Um, and sort of step backwards, leaving one of your crewmates. Funnily enough, the one that um, your comrade Adric bashed over the head, um, closer to this guy with his cutlass. Uh, bringing up Wisp in the turn order. How far away is that dude from um, me being able to sneak up behind him and stab him? Uh, you can actually. Abandon your cannon and easily move up. Would that need to be like a stealth check or something? Do, do, do. Actually, yeah, roll a dex, and if you do have stealth, add plus two. Yeah. 
What's his bloody perception? No, don't. Actually, if you have scouting, you get to re-roll it if you fail. And some of you do have scouting, I think. Possibly. I have okay. scouting, but I don't know if that's... It means if you fail your stealth check, which that is definitely not a fail. Um, yeah, this guy has no fucking idea as you... Sneak up behind him. He's too busy sneering at um, Mercia's attempts to whack him in the face. So roll your attack at advantage. So if you roll your attack, I'll uh, twice pick the highest of the two dice scores. <laughs> To clarify, that was out of character. To be honest, if that was in character, it would probably be distracting him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the jury's too kind to say something like that. Or at least chant something like that. He'll, he'll think something like that. But... Alright, so that was the highest of your two dice scores. And let me... Do, do, do. I don't know why that's not working. Uh, but anyway. Uh, so that was a 13 to hit. That will unfortunately just miss him. In all his attempts to dodge Merisea's attacks on his face, he accidentally sidesteps out of the way of your attack. He's still oblivious to the fact you're there right now, though. <laughs> Brilliant. Wow. Uh, basically, just sort of s stumbles out of the way of your attack as your like blade goes through his back, and then sort of steps back into position, still watching Mercia. He is a <laughs> the sounds of the fighting all around him. He has no idea that there's someone standing behind him. Spot me, or she oblivious? Uh. Mercia can see past him and knows you're there. Okay. Uh, that brings up Taryn. Okie dokie. Um, well, by this point, he's Dari definitely given up on the idea of using the cannon. <laughs> yep, there is also two sailors attacking yeah. yours yeah. and um, Flavie's cannon's crews. So, oh. she, uh, Taryn's going to... Can Taryn, like... Ask Flavie to like join her and like they fight together. Is that uh, that possible? Yeah, she can call for him to join up. Uh, do 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 do. Would that count as a major or a minor action? I'm not really sure. Uh, from memory, I think it's actually a minor action, and Prepare, press the attack. Do, do, do. Actually, what I'll do is I will turn around and get you to roll a d6. Just one? Yep, just one d6. Three. And I will compare that to where he is there. Uh... He is going to leap forward to help you attack, and he's going to actually attack at the exact same time as the enemy fights back. Sorry, what was that you cut out? But... Sorry. He's going to leap forward as you call to attack, and he's mm -hmm. going to wind up fighting. He's a little bit slower off the mark, so he's fighting at the same time as they are. Oh, cool. 
So roll your attack, you get in first. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, attack is dex, dex, isn't it? Uh, for... Uh, do, you're using short blade, aren't you? It's accuracy. Yeah, short oh, accuracy. So it's, uh, yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> so I've got two ones, a two, and then my accuracy is two, so that's a total of six. <laughs> yep, yeah, you definitely miss with that. Flaley, on the other hand, actually manages to hit. Well done, Flaley! Flaley, Flaley, Flaley. <laughs> Going to jump back up to his weapon, because the front memory is a longsword. Uh, hang on, weapon details. Longsword, 2d6. There you go. He just caused a significant amount of damage to the sailor near him. Fantastic. Uh, that brings us up to Mug. Woo. Okay, so it's my turn. Um, yep. So, so some of them have already jumped over, right? Yep, there is currently two fighting Taran and Flaley. At some point you're going to have to learn his name, but Flaley for now. Yeah, we don't have to learn his name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the day we ac accidentally call him Flaley to his face. <laughs> um, I mean, um, Mog is not going to be accidentally calling him Flaley to his face. It's going to be on purpose for being stupid and lazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That was like... Ooh. <laughs> nah, that was just like out of nowhere. <laughs> he's, he's, he's young and, and, and dumb and... <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> yeah. Right, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. I, I meant Mug is stupid and lazy, so he will just call him Flaley. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I thought Mug was calling him stupid and lazy. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, right, so uh, can I attack some of them? Uh, yes, you can. You can charge into the fight alongside Taran. Yes, charge with my mole, right? <laughs> yep. And if you do a full-blown charge, that will give you a plus one from memory. Uh, okay. Only plus one. I shall just double-check that, but I'm pretty certain. It, it, it should be okay. Uh, so I, I get a fighting bonus as well, right? Uh, uh, so your charge as you plus one to your attack roll, and fighting is your bonus, yes. That hits. So then, uh, oh, what, what, what's, so it's my mole. Oh, oh I don't have the 10 d6, it was so nice. No, it was <laughs> you, you, you felt real power. <laughs> yeah. Is there extra stuff from, um, charge? Oh, no. Uh, it's just literally a plus one to your attack roll. Okay. Okay, so either case, it's going to be 11 points of damage. Right, yeah, let me just double check on that. Alright, the one fighting Taran is looking really hurt. Broken ribs, lots of blood, but he's still standing. Nice. Uh, do, do, do. And that brings their turn. Um, can I just. Sorry, yep. Did I, um, what was the weird rogue rule that we <coughs> talked about before? Radio. so pinpointed... Something about failing. Oh, actually, yes, because you... Because I failed. Ah. Uh, I feel like that count or not? I can't remember. Ah, radio. so you failed to actually hit the him, right? So mm -hmm. it do only triggers when you actually hit, but you... Oh, okay. If you hit, you get to do 1d6 more damage per uh, round. I see, okay. Yeah, if... You're faster than they are. Um, Fair enough. All right. And I see that Edric and Mercia 
so we will actually wind it up shortly for now. Uh, the one near Edric actually whiffed his shot, so he's still not getting anywhere. Well, shit. So the one that just got hit in the ribs with a mole is pierced, spins on the dwarf, and swings back hard. And I'm going to presume a 17 hits. Yes. On mug. 17? Yep. Mm, I think that, that will probably... Yeah. Radio. Yeah. So my defense is 12. So that was a triple five as well. Yeah, wow. Uh, so what's his uh, favorite five, moves? Five stun points against you. Oh, right here. Yeah. So his favorite move is actually that. Yep. So he's going to use lightning attack and then skirmish to try and put Taran between you and him. Yep. Uh, each day you will recover hit points. Um, and you can... And I'll explain healing once we get to it. Uh, does a 12 hit? Oh, had you taken damage last session? Yeah, I, I took damage, yeah. You will have completely healed up overnight. Um, but there's a 12 hit on his second attack. Uh, 12. Uh, my defense is 12. Oh, he just literally fails on that. Okay, nice. I can take care. Ready on that and that. So to try harder. And his damage table is... Why am I always up on the wrong section? And details back there. And he is using a. Yep. So he's going to do 9 damage minus your armor. Uh, minus my armor? Yep. Okay, so that's 5. Well, uh, so. For scratching me. Yeah, 4 HP of damage to you. And with uh, that. Uh, 5 HP here. You have five armor? No, f four armor. Oh, f yeah. okay, five HP, yep. Yeah. Uh, do, 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 back to my turn order quickly. And we are at, so that was Mug's turn, brings us to the bottom <coughs> of the turn order, and the captain's going to try something. <laughs> yeah. The captain of your ship has just stormed onto the enemy ship. With a group of crew. Yeah. <laughs> He's decided to take the fight to them. And with that... Uh, I will actually put it up to <coughs> you, Timo, since we're back towards the top of the... Round. Yep, yeah, but did you want to do one more round and call it a night there, or do you reckon this is a good enough cliffhanger with your captain now on the enemy ship? Mm. How much longer? <laughs> what do you, what did you, uh, do the rest feel? I'm not awake enough to think anymore. I'm happy for I'm... this to be a good cliffhanger, especially if yeah. you're not awake enough to think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, same. Yeah. Okay, in that case, uh, well, I guess we'll go with the cliffhanger. Yep. Thanks, guys. <laughs> That's all right. No problem. You need some sleep. Yeah. We will yeah. wind it up there for tonight. Your captain has charged onto a ship that has fires burning at several points on the deck. There is a full-blown bloodbath going across the deck of both your ship and theirs. 
and you are fighting your best to repel borders at this stage. Oh dear. They, they seem to be a bit stupid because they're taking a lot of damage. Um, yeah. Yes. They should they should really surrender. They yeah. should take more <laughs> captives. Um, and then sell more people. <laughs> the last thing I'll do is because, Bajiri, it's your turn and you've been on ships before. Can I get you to roll a perception check? Yes, you most certainly can. Uh, you add your sailing like... bonus and your seeing. Oh, you... <laughs> he really wants you to see this. <laughs> that, that, well, that, that's a lot of numbers. Um... The reason I'm saying that is because if he failed to see this, he is a shame for on, on any sailor right now. <laughs> uh, okay, this has got not to an awful lot of numbers that I can't, so that's 12, that's 15, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think it's 15. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> so you've been on this style of ship before. You've been on brigs, you've been on smaller ship sloops. You know just how durable these things are, and the ship that these slavers have been using has taken a beating. It's probably, if you were going to guesstimate, it could only take another three times the amount of beating, and it would be literally splinters in the air. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Yeah, we were there. I guess murdering them all is the best way to go for it. So, at this stage, you can tell that they're desperate. They're after something, and they're throwing literally everything into this fight. Like, very intriguing. It's a very much go hard or go home moment for them. Because any other captain who is entirely sane would have pulled back well and truly by now. Yeah, Bajiri will remember that. Bajiri's going to write it down so he remembers that. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we'll leave you with your captain on that ship. The battle raging around you, and we will see where we pick up when we continue next session. You guys know, maybe they're just really desperate to make friends with us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Friends. And with that, I think we can sign off from the recording. I don't know if you've got a call sign yet, whether it be Rum, whether it be R, but shouts out there for the uh, recording. Oh, Rum! <laughs> Ooh, <Quack. laughs> Rum. The various things.